Wranglers and Adventurers. It's Gil with Greasy Creek Outfitters. Just thought I'd do an update on the uh, Anvil diesel heater here. I've uh, got it somewhat temporarily installed in my uh, workshop storage shed junk pile out here. Um, and went through the startup process as well as I can understand it. The, uh, the manual that comes in English is like broken English and a little hard to understand, but I was able to get it going. Um, it cycled itself through several times and um, it started the pump going. I know you can probably hear the fan. Um, one of the thing, things that people were complaining about was the um, noise that it makes. It's really not, other than the fan, the pump doesn't make that much noise. It's not that loud. Um, and the fan's certainly not at all annoying. And this is a, uh, I think it's a 12 by 28 shed. And back behind the camera there, if I stand about five feet, six feet behind the camera, I can feel the heat coming out of here. Matter of fact, I can't keep my hand much closer than this for just a minute. It's it's hot. It blows hot air. Now I've got it running right now on the highest setting, but uh, man, I'm I'm impressed with it. You know, people are talking about oh, it's, it's cheap Chinese junk. Well, it is cheap and it is Chinese. I don't know about the junk part because it's working. Um, and I've got it exhausted outside. I've got header wrap wrapped around the exhaust pipe. Um, I'm going to put that on a little bit more securely later on here. But uh, this is just kind of a, a dry run of it where I'm going to get it going and see how well it does. But so far, man, I think... I think it's going to be just fine. It's blowing a lot of air. I was really concerned that it wasn't going to push that much air, but it is. And right now I think it's probably 40 degrees outside and inside. I wish I had a, uh, a thermometer in here. I'd tell you what the uh, inside temperature is now, but the way this thing is going, I think it would get this if on the high setting. It would probably get it up into the probably mid 70s anyway on a day like this and I'm sure it's going to be less the lower you go but uh, when I get the uh, carport put back together I think it's going to heat that just fine especially if I do a little insulation and you can see too there's no insulation in this yet there's going to be eventually but uh, I think I'm going to buy another one of these I'm really impressed with it really really so anyway I just thought I'd do a little update for you and let you know um, coming up in the next week or so I'm going to put the the new uh, portable carport back up and get that thing secured down properly to where hopefully it doesn't blow away again because I'm really going to be mad if it does but um, you know we'll see and when I do it I'll install this out in the uh, carport there and we'll see how it heats that. But in the meantime, please like. And if you like these videos, please subscribe. There's going to be a wide variety of videos. It's not all stuff like this. There's going to be videos on the boat build. Um, I might do some uh, things on some fly tying and uh, fly fishing tutorials. Just a little bit of everything. Um, I'm sure something out there will interest you. But in the meantime, tight lines, God bless. This is Gil with Greasy Creek Outfitters, and I'll talk to you later.